In a world of the unknown, one group of adventurous travelers goes on a quest to prove, once and for all, what vehicle do you need to conquer the Alpine Loop? Join 4x4 Alfresco on a forum fact-checking mission in southwest Colorado. The adventure begins in Austin, Texas with vehicle preparation. I'm 98% sure you'll stop. What was the problem with the door? The uh, door lock actually died. And what did you notice that the Jeep needed a little bit of help with? Well, it's a Jeep. It's good at everything. <laughs> the following morning. It was uh, tight. Yeah. It was tight for, for two people. For two people. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were warm. Mm -hmm. One of the final preparation steps was getting our tires installed and tires to use. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, I could have cut my eye out. I, did. I like sleeping in the vehicle. I think that's, for, to me, that would be the way to go. Yeah, because you stay out of the wind. Yeah, you know, and if you want to turn the heater on, you can just turn it. So what do you need to tackle the Alpine Loop in snow? The four-runner and two-wheel drive can do it. In this, they can do it in anything. Hey Brandon, what are you guys setting it at? 20. Right on, dude. continued to power through it was the only two-wheel drive vehicle on the trip, going into full tripod mode as we ascended Engineer Pass. Shortly thereafter, however, found himself in a little rut. Time for the forerunner to turn around. That's right. You're good. I'm going to hook it strap to you and we'll pull you up. Yep. You're fine. Just kind of getting it. Yeah, I just want the glue to kind of contact everywhere so that yeah. it gets good contact. I think if I would have done that better the first time, the single one might have worked. Yeah, that was a big hole. It was a big hole. Yeah. What happened? Well, uh, we oh. punctured the tire, highway tires. Sorry. Came up here on the Alpine Loop, just totally chancing it, no, kind of knowing that. But no tools, improper tires. Are you supposed to get to here? Are you supposed to get all these? Yes. Open okay. now. Now the bag's yours. Oh, shit. I knew that's why you did that. <laughs> Jacob, is there any coffee on my bumper? A coffee? <laughs> no. That's a I no. I take that as a no. <laughs>
This is a beautiful place in the world, and thanks to efforts from people like MK, it'll stay this way for years and years to come. Um, so I work for the San Juan Mountains Association, and we're the nonprofit education and interpretive partner with the San Juan National Forest and the BLM Trace Rios Field Office. To see the full interview with MK and to follow us on the adventure from the planning stages, sponsorship negotiations, vehicle build out, and of course the full trip, join us on our multi part series coming to YouTube soon. We'd like to extend a big thank you to the sponsors who made this all possible Snowmaster Refrigerators, Shipwell Freight Automation, and Tires to You. Without you, none of this would be possible. Thank you.